Welcome to Green Neighborhoods and Community Health, Green Building Research Institute's exploration of the connection between neighborhoods, lifestyle, and health. I'm Rebecca Joan Brown, and I'll be leading the course today. The community that we live in can have a profound effect on our lifestyle choices, basic health, and overall happiness. Thoughtfully planned communities can provide opportunities for recreation, safe places to walk or bike, occasions for connection and engagement, and access to more healthy food options. Through the course today, we will draw the connections between certain neighborhood elements and these positive effects to demonstrate how designers, planners, and builders can have a lasting impact on the occupants of the neighborhoods they're invested in. This is a two CE hour course that will apply for the project surroundings and public outreach category or the neighborhood systems and impacts category if you are a lead in D credential holder. This course is also lead specific for lead in D or lead green associate. The reporting information for this course will be repeated again on the last slide. In this course, we will primarily be looking at how various neighborhood conditions affect the inhabitants of those neighborhoods, focusing on the lifestyle impacts and available choices. We will frame these sustainable neighborhood design elements in terms of the credits from the LEED Indy rating system, evaluating what projects must do to earn these credits, and how these interventions may affect public health and the environment. We will compare these credits and interventions to determine which will have the greatest impact on the health and happiness of occupants and which are easiest to implement. We will continue by evaluating some examples of sustainable neighborhood projects, looking at what they did and how these decisions are affecting the current occupants and visitors. One of the primary questions that we need to answer for this course is what exactly defines a green or sustainable neighborhood. There are many elements that can make a neighborhood sustainable. The basic definition of any sustainable system is that it can exist in perpetuity, not relying on resources or inputs that will be easily exhausted or on external support systems. A green neighborhood goes a bit further than that than one that is sustainable by considering the impact of the neighborhood on the local and global environment. Here are the few of the elements that we have identified to define green neighborhoods. One element that's garnered a lot of attention in the last few years is mixed use neighborhoods and districts. Green neighborhoods focus on having multiple functions such as living, working, shopping, and entertainment all in one area rather than segregating functions. This reduces vehicle miles traveled because these neighborhoods become self-contained cities where people do not need to travel as far to access these amenities. Having mixed use developments encourages many alternative forms of transportation because distances are shorter between the functions, walking and biking are more viable options, and when there are more people and functions in proximity to one another, mass transit makes more sense. This brings us to the next element of green neighborhoods, connection. A green neighborhood has a well-connected street network within and is connected to other neighborhoods as well. Pedestrian pathways that connect to streets and other areas near the neighborhood allow easier access for pedestrians and bikers. Active communities are those that create spaces for recreational activity, as well as those that are actively growing. This is a hallmark of a sustainable neighborhood. The neighborhood needs always to be growing and changing to accommodate the evolving needs and demographics of its inhabitants. A diverse community refers to both the people who live within the community and the buildings and spaces that compromise it. There should be a variety of spaces available to people in price ranges for both housing and commercial activity. Diverse neighborhoods will also mix elements of existing buildings with new development 
and include services for people of all ages, income levels, backgrounds, and lifestyles. Most importantly, green neighborhoods attempt to have a more positive impact on their environment by reducing energy use, emissions from vehicles, and impacts to the surrounding habitat and water bodies. One of the strongest ways that neighborhoods can be green is by reducing automobile dependence and vehicle miles traveled. Over the past 75 years, North Americans have increasingly relied on individual automobiles as their primary mode of transportation. This affects both neighborhood design and use in significant ways. Auto-dependent neighborhoods are built more fragmented because the automobile allows us to access any location relatively easily and because auto traffic itself provides hard to bridge diversions in the form of fast moving highways. This fragmentation and the associated increase in VMT are not sustainable as automobiles account for roughly one third of greenhouse gas emissions. Increased auto use also means that more areas will need to be paved for both roads and parking which reduces the area available for natural habitats and may contribute to soil erosion as water runs off of these impervious surfaces rather than infiltrating the ground. Auto-dependent living also increases consumption of fossil fuels. In addition to the emissions that are released when these fuels combust, sourcing and processing of gas and oil is detrimental to the environment and these fuels themselves must be shipped long distances. LEED ND is the newest LEED green building rating system, which was created to address green developments on a larger scale than can be accomplished with single building systems. Individual buildings can go a long way towards protecting the environment and human health, but neighborhoods can arguably have an even larger impact on the way we live. While other LEED rating systems do address some of the issues associated with neighborhoods in their sustainable site sections, the ND rating system goes deeper to address the infrastructure and planning of new and existing communities. The rating system was developed as a partnership between the U.S. Green Building Council, the Congress for New Urbanism, and the Natural Resources Defense Council. The main goals of LEED ND are to promote principles of smart growth and new urbanism, encourage greener infrastructure and systems, and to expand the impact of green construction and building design.